Okay, once again, I'm here uh, doing a recording of uh, this ongoing programming of the Teensy chip here. Um, as you've seen in other videos, it's a fairly small chip on a board that's about the size of my finger. And then this has a add-on board, uh, audio shield, you may say. Um, I'm doing MIDI control. It's going in through this USB port, this USB plug right here. And then the audio is coming out from there, and it's running into uh, <coughs> the audio port on this keyboard that uh, acts as a type of a mixer uh, audio interface. Um, anyway, um, I've already got the system up and running. Um, and what I've done is I've made a monophonic mode. And as you can see, I can hold down one key. And I, when I hit the next key, it stops playing the previous key. And it plays the next key. And if I let go of that key, then it goes back and it plays the key I'm still holding. So I can make a nice trill sound. Or uh, we can take and a lot like an old monophonic keyboard and also I've added portamento um, which I can bring in right here <laughs> So I got to... And then I've got the speed over here. And I've also put a pitch bin uh, effect. and I got to get exponential curves to the controls because as you can see when I hit this uh, pitch bend I mean it goes way down I mean uh, like <laughs> um, let's see I'm going to hit this key here now, where is that that's like down here 
here. <laughs> Anyway, it was off the, it was like two octaves down, but if I go up, it'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think it's this one. So I'm going from here to here. that way I'm twice as much um, so uh, anyway it's it's, uh, it's been quite a battle it took me a long time figuring out how to get the uh, uh, monophonic uh, notes to uh, play forward and back to do this trill effect I had to um, make an array to memorize the notes and that I still had held and ones that I've released because, you know, if I held down this note, then I let go of this note, then I should be able to let go of that one, and then go from this one to this one. Because I let go of that one in the middle, so the array figures out there's a hole, bring them together, so it'll know that you no longer have that note in there anyway. Um, pretty pretty cool, the uh, the synthesizer so far. Um, what I can get out of that little little chip is just pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, let's play with a square wave here. That's just uh, what I've gotten so far uh, to kind of give a visual demonstration of what's happening on the keyboard and uh, um, on the screen up here is the uh, GOI um, that I made to control the, the chip with. And I've gotten a uh, right here. I've put a pitch bin, so when I hit the note, yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.